Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play King's Quest VI. Last time, we brought some peace to uh, the Isle of the Beast here. And uh, we also made uh, some, more or less some plans with, uh, Jollo. He was talking about perhaps getting the Wizard's Lamp. So we can, uh, not the Wizard's Lamp, the uh, Genie's Lamp. And switching it out, that would be interesting. That would uh, help us immensely. And also, uh, we need to somehow make the wazir believe that we are no longer a problem. Anyway, Alexander takes a magnificent white rose from the rose hedges. Maybe Cassim would like one of these. So there's a few things I want to do before I really start on the split path. I was uh, making sure I had everything, and I still don't have everything I need quite. So, actually, oh, no, there is uh, one thing back here I need still. And actually, the thing I need here is uh, going to be for the uh, path I'll be taking second, but I might as well get it now so I don't have to come back. So, one thing that... Uh, now I can look at the magic book. Let's see what we do have. Okay. So we have Swamp Ooze, River Six Water, where the heck are we going to get that? We want to be getting that for a while, and a Black Horse Feather, I believe we have one of those. We just kind of found it. You just salt water, not from the sea. We don't have that. One vial of Sacred Water, we got that from the Oracle. And Falling Water, that's what we can get here from the Make Rain spell. So I love how there's Falling Water here, and in uh, Quest for Glory 1 you have to find Flying Water. See, skull full of hot oak embers. Well, we have a skull, but no embers. Charming a creature of the night. Hmm. A bit of sulfur, brimstone. Hmm, I think I know where we can get that. And a strand of pure hearted mains here. We do have that. This is. So, yeah, still some things to get. Oh, okay. I almost walked away from this thing again. Let's get some uh, falling water and the lamp. The lamp is not ready for the fountain water. Or not. Hmm. Let me recheck the thing. Let's see, first mix salt and sacred waters in a teapot, then add falling water. Oh, teapot! I. Why was I using the lamp? We need the lamp for something else. Do I have a teapot? No, okay, I thought I had a teapot. Oh well. I guess I will deal with that later. Hmm, but where can we get a teapot? Let's see, well, anyway, I want to go back to the Isle of Wonder. Alexander pulls up. Because a little thing has changed here and there, and also we have uh, something that we can give to Alexander the queens there. So if we go back this way... Ah, oh, they're all still napping. And hello. There's a small bottle on the coffee table. It bears a label that reads, Drink Me. Hmm. Alexander picks up the bottle. All right, let's try it out. Alexander searches the bottle for a clue about the potion inside, but remains unilluminated. All right. Alexander decides to swallow the potion in the bottle labeled Drink Me to see what happens. <laughs> Suddenly, his vision fades to black. His lungs become too heavy to breathe. His heartbeat slows. Uh-oh. I guess that's game over for us. Whoops. Then beats no more. Well, that's it. Sorry, guys. Game? Suddenly, his heart takes a lurch, then beats strong.
His chest heaves like that of a newborn. His vision clears, and Alexander feels fine. Phew. For a minute there, I thought, what if someone else had seen me and thought, sounds? Jeez, what is that? It's like a fake death potion. Do we have any... Is there any more of that? The little bottle contains some sort of potion and bears a label saying, Drink me. See, That's I like... rather forward of it. <laughs> so I like that. It doesn't like... Get rid of the potion. So the potion's still there, so you just figure out what it's used for on your own. Okay, yes, I get a snapdragon. Snapdragons. <laughs> just saw that little glitch there. Your Highness may as well spend her royal time contemplating something else. The lump of coal shall be sent to the Castle of the Crown under my name, and that's all there is to it. No, it shan't. Yes, it shall. If the coal is sent in your name, I shall royally decree a ban on all red on this isle. You do, and I shall royally decree that white shall be henceforth used for all mopping up of cabbage stew. You wouldn't dare! Oh, wouldn't I? Oh, it's you! Have you thought of any more of those brilliant ideas of yours? I do, in fact, have a brilliant plan. That's the coal, right? Alexander has a pitch black lump of coal that he found in the Isle of the Mists. There we go. I found the two of you another lump of coal so that you can stop fighting over the one you have. Oh, let me see! A lump of coal! And what a beauty it is, too! Oh, marvelous! Now we can stop fighting, sister. Your Highness can just keep the old lump of coal, and I'll take this new one. Quite right. That settles everything. As a token of our endless esteem and royal favor, please accept this magnificent and truly incredible spoiled egg. Uh... Uh... Thanks. <laughs> I love Alexander's voice actor. Let me see that lump of coal, your highness. It is a beauty, isn't it? Why, it's bigger than my lump of coal. Let me have it immediately. Over my dead body, your highness. It's my lump of coal. And it is indeed larger and much grander. Just look at that sheen. I demand you exchange with me immediately! Jeez, what a couple of entitled brats. <laughs> Alright, so uh, that will actually take care of our sulfur problem if you hadn't figured that out. Now, uh, one second, I need to check something out. Okay, I think I should have what I need. Anyway, we need uh, salt water not from the sea. We have these uh, baby cabbages here. Alexander Check is carrying something. an old, battered hunter's lamp. The lamp is empty. Alright. Let me check one more thing. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, there we go. First mix salt and sacred water. So, okay. So that's why the uh, falling water, I couldn't get it, because we have to first mix salt and sacred water. I guess we do do it in the lamp. I was, I was, it says teapot, but oh well, maybe that's something else. Um, where did I put the thing? Oh, there's the, that milkweed we got way back. Alexander yeah, gives one of the baby's tears a bottle of milk. The other baby's tears seem to resent Alexander's gift for some reason. Ah, because they didn't get one. 
Anyway, use the lamp. Alexander collects some of the baby's tears in the old hunter's lamp. I feel like a terrible person. And uh, the sacred water, we might as well put that in there too, just to free Alexander up inventory pours space. the contents of the oracle's vial into the hunter's lamp with the baby's tears. The vial, now empty of its sacred fluid, disintegrates. All right. Sorry, babies, I feel like a terrible person. Oh, well. All right, let's get out Alexander the map. pulls out his magic map. And back to uh, the island. Alexander of the crown feels a strain. And we can give a rose here and perhaps send that There's to Cassim. No I should like that. that th There's no yes, there is. There we go. Alexander holds out the rose, hoping that the bird will deliver it to Cosima. The nightingale takes the rose and heads for the castle once more. A white rose, how beautiful. It must be from Alexander. How I wish that I could see him with my own eyes. But Abdul will never allow it. He only risks capture by sending me these things, dear to my heart though they are. Fly elsewhere, my pretty friend. Do not endanger Prince Alexander again by taking tokens from his hand. Forgive me, Alexander, and forget me. I cannot return your love for fear that I shall never leave this castle again. Aww. Alexander waits in vain for Cosima's nightingale to return, but the bird does not. Could there be something wrong? Or does Cosima simply not welcome his attentions further? Well, we're just going to keep going, because there is something bad going on around here. Oh, here's the lamp guy. We haven't seen him for a while, but we still don't know what kind of lamp to get. Now, here's where things get strange. Let's go into the pawn shop. Good day, Prince Alexander. And the genie, of course, a is spying on us. Old man also patronizes the. Can we like stab him? Alexander may not at all care for that man in black, but that's no excuse for getting violent. All right, all right. So, what would happen if you were to report us as dead? Alexander suddenly gets a very sneaky idea. I can't go on anymore. Without Cosima, I'd just rather not live. Prince Alex, no! It's true! The Wazir has beaten me. I give up! Poison is my last resort. Stop! I am... no... more. The poor young fool. He's dead, he's dead. Wait until Abdul hears. He'll be so pleased. I told you not to pop in like that. You can learn to knock like everybody else. Quickly look here. Sorry, Master. I couldn't help myself. I have great news. Well, what is it? Prince Alexander is dead. He killed himself in despair over losing Cosima. <laughs> what? Are you positive? That young man has proven to be most devious. I saw the whole thing myself, Master. He was really and truly quite dead. Hmm. If what you say is true, it shall be most convenient. 
You've spent enough time on that little irritant. We must start thinking about the wedding. Anything, Master? Oh, I do love weddings. Well, we do want you to look your prettiest, don't we? Huh? Now, Shamir Shamazel, to the lamp with you. Prepare yourself as we discussed. Aha. Alexander's heart lurches to life in his chest. This cannot be good for him. Prince Alex! But you... you were... Sorry, friend. I was doing a little acting, I'm afraid. Ah, of course. The strange cloaked man. You are quite clever. And a bit too exciting for an old man. <laughs> All right, so now they uh, believe that Alexander has passed away. And we know what the lamp looks like. So that's kind of something I don't like, is the way you figure out how the lamp looks like is through a cutscene that Alexander could not possibly see. But I guess that kind of applies to the manual as well, because he can't read the manual. Oh well. Anyway, um, for the path I'm choosing, I want to trade back in the uh, tinderbox. Oh, that's it, that's it, okay. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex, please. Choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. And Alexander after this looks closely path, at the items on the counter to make his selection. I want the Nightingale That again. mechanical night... Thank you. So, oh yeah, we've already heard that. Alright, so I'm gonna go over here now. And let me uh, save the game real quick. And let's trade in uh, this lamp here. I know there's stuff in it, so uh, but I think it'll be all right. It should be. This game usually doesn't oh. like to get you stuck. There's no reason to. Excuse me, peddler, but I have an old lamp that might interest you. <laughs> ah, an old lamp. And what a nice traditional design, too. <laughs> Take your pick of my new lamps. And here's where that lamp comes into play. We need to find one that matches uh, Abdul al Hazred's, and that is this one right here. Ah, a fine choice, my son. Here is your new lamp. Good day. And I thank you, sir. Good day. Dread, another dud. Oh, and he just takes it with him. Can we not get that back? It has like sacred water in it and stuff. Like the stuff that we'll need for the other thing. So I guess we can't get it back at this point. Oh well. So I guess uh, that where I saved right there, that's the uh, splitting point. So that means I am now locked off from the uh, longer, more complicated ending. Hmm. All right. No worries. So how do we and? Go about uh, getting into the castle. Oh wait, there's uh, something I want to do. So we got this uh, dress here. It looks a lot like a peasant woman's Beauty's dress. Beauty's old clothes are very ragged and heavy. They consist of a long, thick dress and a headpiece which covers the hair and most of the face. Beauty's old clothes are very... Oh. Alexander searches through Beauty's clothes, but finds nothing. Are you sure? Alexander... Okay. Thought there was supposed to be. Never mind. A group of serving women approach the castle. So we are going to disguise ourselves. Ah, wolf! More serving women! The castle staff is certainly busy today! Aye, gruff! Gotta move on there, wenches! There's plenty of work left to do before the wedding! Yes, Sergeant Gruff.
those serving wenches are always late. <laughs> now let's very unobviously hide in here and try on a dress. Taking his cue from the serving women he's seen enter the castle, Alexander decides to try a few alterations to make himself more acceptable to the guards. He ducks into the little hut to put on Beauty's clothes. Feeling a little foolish, Alexander slips Beauty's old slave clothes on over his own. Imagine if Cosima saw him like this. <laughs> well, here we go. You there! Girl! You're late! Get a move on before the Wazir sees you! Yes! <clears throat> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. The castle guards lock the main entrance doors behind Alexander. From the open door comes the clatter of pots and pans, yelled instructions, and other busy kitchen noises. Girl! Don't just stand there! There's a stack of silver almost to the ceiling that needs polishing for the wedding! Get a move on! Yikes, okay, fine. Jollo wannabe. Phew. I can't afford to get caught up in that mess. I'd never find Cosima. Oh, so it's better to just wander around as the prince. Very good. So we are now inside the castle. But can we find a way to Cosima to save her? Well, let's make our way next time on Let's Play King's Quest 6. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.